Michael. I teach biology uh, here in uh, the Chassa Middle School in Israel. Our learning scenario discussed uh, zero waste and how to implement that in our neighborhood and in our personal lives. In our learning scenario, we uh, went to the uh, municipal dump, the biggest uh, municipal dump in Israel, uh, and we learned how they process waste and uh, send some, th some things to recycling plants, some things to uh, burial, and how waste, which is something that most of our students had never even thought of as uh, uh, any, any, any object at all, let alone a resource, can be uh, used in all kinds of new ways and interesting ways. Uh, they did all kinds of cool things during the week. Uh, they recycled plastic. They took apart shoes and saw how many pieces of uh, material are, they're made out of. And they met a, a person from the municipality in charge of, uh, uh, of waste management. And uh, he talked about how it works in their own city. The general name is PBL, something that I personally like. I, I've heard of, but I've never really worked at it or tried to implement it. And that was the uh, general guidelines. We wanted to give them a project, try to get them to, to self-motivate into taking all that they've learned in these, these tours, these uh, workshops, and try and let them try and apply it to something in their own lives. And through that, intensify the learning. Through that, uh, trying to implement it, they learn what works, what doesn't work, and uh, both life experience and actually studying the subject, uh, it, it allows for that. The open schooling allowed, allowed for it to become personal, I think. Um, what, what we see here is when we talk about something in the classroom, it, it may, it may uh, affect someone personally, but may not, and that's, that's okay. But as soon as you bring the person to something, it affects them personally. It doesn't matter if, if, they, if they haven't seen it before. I, I can talk about a dump all I want, but they have to smell the dump to know what, they're, uh, what I'm talking about. The, as soon as there's more, uh, more exposure, it, it, it allows the investment to be a lot bigger. That, uh, builds motivation, or allows motivation, I think. There was a, kind of the opposite with the breaking apart of the shoes. Each one got a different sh a pair of shoes or a, a single shoe, so each one had to approach the breaking apart of a sole in a different way, and like different tools and stuff like that. Um, we also uh, had, in the Science Museum, we uh, we tried to uh, build wallets out of um, recycled plastic. Um, the biggest uh, aspect of uh, makerism uh, was the actual projects themselves uh, students were trying to work with. They, uh, each one of them was uh, they split into groups, and each group tried to build a project of it, to suggest a project of their own to reduce waste in our school, our neighborhood, or our city. Uh, and some of these were more practical, and some of these were more uh, organizational or theoretical. The learning process of working with a team, within a team, towards a common goal, uh, taught them valuable skills in uh, team management, uh, social skills, uh, organizational skills, but also just. Um, uh, looking at something that's so uh, ordinary, so daily, so uh, or from our day to day in a completely new light and how there's an entire industry behind the fact that I throw my apple core to the garbage. Uh, it was, I saw, I wish I would be in all the students, I saw in some students the realization that if, if you focus on something small, there's a whole world hiding behind it. And uh, I think that's the biggest benefit. Putting something that's always on the, in, in the back of our minds in the front was uh, something that I, I hope they took away with them. Um, what they learned, I hope, uh, I hope optimism. Preparation is key. Uh, 
plan in advance your uh, your schedule. Uh, make sure you have every uh, every uh, 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 activity you have at least uh, timed correctly, uh, so that uh, everything uh, goes smoothly. And if not, then you have at least some. This may be the second piece of advice: have some uh, um, some flexibility with your times. Uh, we. There were days in, in the in the in the uh, in the learning scenario that we we overplanned and uh, and we allowed, but we allowed for flexibility. So if the if the bus was running late, which is the stuff that like oh it's a perfect learning scenario, but you don't take it into account the bus running late, uh, then all of a sudden it uh, uh, works everything uh, has to work around that. So. Uh, it, it allowed us a lot of, uh, once we had that flexibility, every time we had, all of a sudden we had free time or something like that, it was still used towards bringing the students. So that's maybe the third thing is uh, every chance you have is an opportunity to learn. So uh, we're stuck in a parking lot. Look at this garbage can. Why is it here? Who does it service? And stuff like that. I think uh, a weakness in our uh, in our project was the um, we didn't define properly for the students what their project should entail, and that way all our students found out the different uh, different ideas, different this, and we had a lot of arguments within uh, within the groups and uh, stuff like that. It was a bit all over the place. Uh, I focused the projects, give them a defined criteria of. Uh, of what we expect them to do and uh, limit them to a certain aspect of, uh, of, what, of where we want to focus them. Some students don't like that, they want uh, freedom to go wherever they want, but uh, in, in the overall I think too, we were spread too thin in the end of the, at the end of the, the project. Mm -hmm.